So this is our job seeker spotlight. This is the one and only Sandy Radke. Sandy, uh, would you take a minute to introduce yourself? Like Andy said, my name is Sandy Radke. Uh, I am an HR leader that partners with executives to solve human capital um, problems. I'm very, very passionate about working with employees to create engagement and to drive an exceptional employee experience. My name is Sandy Radke and I'm an HR leader. Love it. And what does next look like for you? You know, for me, I am looking for my next work home. So um, I believe work is part of family. And so culture and environment are very important to me. So I'm looking for um, a place that fosters um, inclusivity, uh, diversity, and collaboration, a team working together and winning together, but also celebrating failures and learning from those failures and those mistakes. That's what I'm looking for. I love that. Describe, you. you know, and I know this plays into the last question, but kind of mm -hmm. go into a little bit more detail and describe your ideal role. For me, again, it's an HR leadership role where I can be a key contributor. Ideally, I would love to partner both with executives and employees. Um, I feel that's where I can uh, drive the best results sure. because I'm taking the strategy and I'm bringing that over to the people aspect. Um, and so that's what I'm looking to do as a, as a key contributor. Absolutely. So it sounds like you want a seat at the table where you Absolutely. have a voice that makes a difference yes. in the company. And then to mm -hmm. take that strategy that you decide with the executive leaders and kind of teach that to your business leaders across the enterprise and let mm -hmm. them execute that down to the individual contributors as well. Yes. Am I getting that um, accurate? Absolutely. I mean, that's that's really what I think my brand is. I'm a people strategist. Love so it's it. taking that strategy and like you said, and bringing it across all lines of, of business. Very good. Very good. Describe the qualities that you look for in a target company. And I know you mentioned collaboration, but what are some yes. other ones? Actually, the one main quality that I look for is that a company understands the value of HR and it understands the importance of HR partner, partnering with its business lines. So I don't want it to be an afterthought. I don't want it to be that reactive. I want it to be that proactive. Um, so that's Perfect. specifically what I look for in a com company. So I'm going to kind of throw a curveball in here and piggyback oh. on that and say, what is the value of HR to an organization, Sandy? I think the value of HR is everything because like if you read Richard Branson mm -hmm. and what he says, that people are at the core of everything that makes a company successful and HR is an element of that. Right. And when I think when a company understands that, everything else falls into place. I love that. So I'm, I recently read a book by Jack Ma and he was talking uh -huh. about Alibaba has a reversed org chart. So their customers are at the top, then their individual contributors, then their managers, mm -hmm. directors, VPs, executives. Yeah. And they reversed it because they want you to understand that one, we grow by growing our customers, but it's those individual contributors that are the core and the people are the core. So very in line with Richard Branson. And what you're noticing, the trend here is that CEOs who value their team grow very successful businesses. I love that. Absolutely. Very, very good point. What accomplishments are you most proud of? You know, I think for me, it was uh, developing a performance system that correlated along with a uh, compensation program. And the reason that I say that is because it, again, it gave me the ability to work with employees um, from the frontline plant employee all the way up to executive and to really see that effect um, and that whole picture of what uh, a performance management system can do. One for an employee, it's a great communication tool. It, it allows for accountability. It gives uh, managers 
uh, a reason to work for their with their employees and talk about performance and expectations. I got to work with employees to create job descriptions. So it creates engagement and engagement is really important to me. So uh, creating performance uh, management tool uh, job descriptions, uh, a reward si system through compensation. Again, that, that ties all back into strategy mm -hmm. and how you motivate people and you communicate with them uh, with transparency right. Um, right. to um, give them the tools and the skills and the training right. that they need right. to communicate um, when they're doing a great job or when you need to support them, what is it that I need Absolutely. to do to bring you to a level that is going to make you a happy, productive employee? Right. And from a strategy standpoint, a happy, productive employee is going to drive the results of the company. Very good. One thing I will you know, piggyback on that. We had a conversation earlier with a uh, client who was interviewing for a leadership role in a call center environment. And oftentimes they're managing mm -hmm. kind of this millennial Gen Z generation. And mm -hmm. one trend here in, in the new generation is an expectation for career growth to happen within mm -hmm. a year or two of starting out at a company. And what keeps people engaged long-term at companies is growth by establishing a system that measures performance on metrics and key achievements it also paints a clear picture for what does next look like for you and mm -hmm. here are the milestones that you would achieve to get to the next level and what you created was a way for people to have a very clear understanding of here's my performance score and here's how i level up here's how i get to that next level of career growth and, and kind of going to next. And so I love that you created that. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. And what are your top skills? In no particular order, but I think leading teams, uh, creating engagement, and um, an HR content creator. And what I mean by that is um, I've been fortunate enough to create policies, procedures, handbooks um, for several companies. And I say a content creator because I truly believe to be successful um, in rolling out policies, procedures, handbook, sure. that it has to tie into the culture. Right. So what may work for a plant environment may not work for an office environment. And it's very incumbent upon me, if I'm going to do that, that I take the time to understand the culture. So I say creator because I have been fortunate enough that I've worked in manufacturing environments and I've worked in corporate environments. And those policies look different based on the culture. What is your brand? Uh, I would call my brand a people strategist. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is I take the strategy of the company and I work with people to set the goals, to create action, mobilize resources, to drive results. So I'm a people strategist. I love that. Um, I think that's a very specific skill set that not everybody has. And mm -hmm. people who are, the fact that you understand to your very core that people are the center of business. So that brings us to our next question, which is describe your core values. Hmm. You know, Andy, I have to tell you that um, when I looked at this question, it really uh, caused me to take pause um, and evaluate every aspect of my life. And I did realize that, um, you know, my values change based on the role I'm, I'm playing. And, and maybe they don't change, but it's peppered throughout my life. So me as a, an individual, me as an employee, me as, an, as a leader. And then, you know, when you transition over to me being a leader, you know, the first thing that I think of is servant and building trust and respect and um, uh, 
growth minded in, in, in a, um, you know, allowing employees to grow and blossom and what am I doing to support that? So again, as a wife, as a mother, I have, a, I have other core values. Um, sure. So I thank you for that, that question because it really drove me to think about every aspect of my life. And that's that. what I'm going to go and use in 2021 as as my I'm motto so happy. not not my yeah. new year's resolution but my motto I you know love that. what are my core values for 2021 because yeah. we we know how bad 2020 was and we Absolutely. all want to say goodbye to that what's so our recovery let's, plan <laughs> yeah what's our recovery plan perfect that's exactly and it should start with your values Absolutely. So one thing I love that you're saying is that you have this core set, uh, like a moral compass um, yes. and knowing you, I can say, you know, honesty, integrity, work ethic would go into Absolutely. every aspect of your life, serving right. people. Um, but then there's different, as you put on different hats, you're able to transition to meet the audience, to meet the job requirements, but those core values of who you are down to your core would yep. be the leadership, the servant leadership, the uh, loyalty, engagement, yes. making sure um, what I would say, even diversity and inclusion of making Absolutely. sure all people are reached, all people are included and that we champion that across our organization. I, and I love that about you. So thanks for that answer and that feedback on the question. Um, I think that's really important. Well, thank you. I appreciate uh, it. What, Absolutely. What is one thing you wish uh, recruiters and hiring managers knew about you? Um, well, I am a definitely roll up your sleeves and do what needs to be done to get the job done. Nothing is below me. I would never ask somebody to do something that I wouldn't do myself. And um, I look at challenge as an opportunity to learn, to grow, to be a contributor in a different way. Um, so I thrive in that environment and I welcome uh, that environment. Perfect. Very good. And how can people reach out to you? Um, they can reach out to me uh, via my personal email, uh, which is sandy.radke at sbcglobal.net. And we're going to add that at the end of this video as well, your okay. email address. Okay. And then, and then also through uh, my LinkedIn account, I'd love to connect with people. I'd love to help and support people any way I can uh, as a job seeker, as uh, an experienced HR leader, any way that I can provide support to others uh, and give back. Um, so please connect with me.